Hi everyone and welcome back to Kids First. Today I'm going to be interviewing Isabella Moner, the star of Instant Family. Zoe Canela for Kids First. Hi Isabella, welcome to Miami. Thank you, thank you, so nice to meet you. Um, this film is funny and touching at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, my dog just sneezed. My dog just sneezed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> was it hard to incorporate comedy and drama all in one in your character? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was, it was a good experience, and I learned a lot. And I, it's, a, it's sometimes you know it's it's hard to play a role like this that's so different from my you know my life and how I grew up and how I was raised. And you know, I'm sure you have a loving family as well. And the problem with Lizzie's character is not it's just the situation she was in is so difficult, you know, she's in, this, in the foster care system her whole life, and when she was nine, you know, her parents had a horrible business going on in their basement, and she was just stuck in it, you know, and she didn't have a choice, so it was, you know, she plays the parent to her younger siblings. Do you have younger siblings? I have a dog. You have a dog? Okay, so you would do anything to protect your dog, right? And if someone comes in and tries to be the parent to your dog, you're gonna be like, no, I know how to raise my dog. Like, you don't know my dog. I can raise him. So that's the situation when it comes to, like, Lizzie and her parents, and the parents try to adopt her. Uh -huh. Well, I love that they're Spanish in this film. So, do you think that the Latinos were well represented? Okay, okay, <laughs> coming in with the deep questions. Um, I think that, you know, this is a true story. My, the director of this movie, he adopted three Hispanic children who, they spoke mostly Spanish. Um, but when it came to, uh, Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the Hispanic American kids. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he wanted to truly bring in Hispanic kids from all around the world. He auditioned a bunch to be a part of this movie. But he, you know, he was also important for him to, for them to be able to speak Spanish uh, like his children did when he first adopted them. So I think, but I think in general, Hollywood is doing a better job of including Hispanic yeah. and Americans and Latinos in general, so. And you know like how every film has a process where you have to audition and if you get it, the table read. So what was your favorite part? Because I know you didn't do a red carpet and said you donated food to the Red Cross, which I thought was really sweet. So what did you like most about the process? So <laughs> I auditioned via Skype call. Um, the director was in Los Angeles and I was at home. I don't know why I couldn't go to... Basically, I always send self-tapes because technology nowadays allows you to audition from wherever. So I have Skype called with the director and my computer is so old and it's broken. And so I could not see him, but he could see me. And so I set up the computer like it was a camera and I did the lines and I did the scenes. And while I was doing the scenes, my little brother was getting ready for basketball in the background. He was bouncing his basketball on the living room floor, which is hardwood, so it was making loud noises, and I was so irritated. But apparently it didn't mess anything up. Apparently it helped, I don't know. But by the end of the audition, I found out later that Sean Anders, the director, was crying, and uh, he was all teary-eyed. So I'm, I'm really happy that, it, that I could make him cry over Skype. <laughs> yeah, and then I was able to be part of the process of auditioning with Gustavo and Juliana. Um, we met a bunch of little kids, super cute. Like, that was the most fun I've ever had. Um, before like a movie started. I mean, all these kids were so talented and you like, you know, you have hope for future generations in the movie business because they're so talented. I mean, look at Gustavo and Juliana, they can cry on command like that. Such a good control over their emotions, which is amazing. But you know, despite of Lizzie's like temper and everything, she's really caring. And I know you have two, one younger brother and one older brother. And she would really, Lizzie, she would do anything for her two younger siblings. So can you relate to that? I can, Definitely relate to that. Yeah, for sure. With my little brother and, and now my new dog. I they make me so happy and I would do anything to protect them. Yeah. I you know, I'm not very defensive of myself. Like if someone comes and attacks me, I'm like, okay, cool, like you get to think what you think, I'm gonna continue living my life. But if anyone says anything to my little brother or even like about my dog, I will definitely come at them. Like you can catch these hands if you know. <laughs> Um, I know you sing and you dance and you play the ukulele, you do so many things. So, um, what do you really, like, what's your dream as, like, doing in your career? My dream in my career is probably, you know, I want to release my music so bad. I love performing, I love singing. Um, a lot of people don't really know this about me, but that was my passion before acting. And one just happened to work out faster than the other, and, and that's wonderful, but, um, 
I love me writing my own music too. I feel like that separates me from a lot of the artists today. I love it's my it's my message that I'm coming across with. So, and it's also Hispanic American. It's Spanish and English. So that's something different that I would love to, you know, do. And I'm excited to release that in the future. This film has a great reception. So how do you think it will impact the audience? I feel like. I feel like people are definitely gonna want to adopt kids after this movie. Um, even my friends who were like 16 wanted to adopt kids after watching this movie. And, um, and I feel like it's sending a different message than most of the movies that we have out right now. And, uh, and I think a lot of people are gonna love it. I, I think that, yeah. What is your dog doing right now? I don't know. He's, he's, lame. he's clearly lame. not a lame professional. Dog. He's cute. <laughs> lame your entertainment and your interview is way too dull for him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Zoe. So we let me take a quick picture. Thank you. Okay. Because we are spending so much time. <laughs> Good call. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to watch other Kids First reviewers and interviewers in Kids First. Thank you.